I think the trade agreement that the U.S. is asking of Europe is a bad agreement and you should not sign. Um, that this is not a free trade agreement. <laughs> let me make it clear. Uh, let me uh, I'll tell you a little story. I, I know I'm going over time. Can I just go over just um, – I was asked by, by uh, one country uh, in Latin America whether they should sign a free trade agreement with the United States. I say, yes, uh, y well, I said there are two problems. First, you could go to the United States and say, I'll sign a free trade agreement, but a free trade agreement would be three pages. We get rid of our tariffs, you get rid of yours, we get rid of our non-tariffs, you get rid of your non-tariff barriers, we get rid of our subsidies, you get rid of your subsidies. The United States is not interested in a free trade agreement. Let me make that clear. <laughs> the United States is interested in managed trade agreements, managed for special interest in the United States, and not even in the interest of the citizens of the United States. So you should make it very clear. That's one of the reasons why the USTR refuses to disclose the negotiating positions even to members of our Congress. So they don't want even our representatives to know the position that we are negotiating, let alone ordinary citizens. So you want to know some of the provisions? Well, the basic idea is very simple. Tariffs are already very low. So free trade agreement is not about lowering tariffs. They're very, very low. What is it about? Well, it's about things like regulations, environmental regulations, safety regulations, working regulations, now, the United States, in part of this managed trade agreement, which they continue to call the free trade agreement, even though I keep pointing out it's not a free trade agreement, this managed trade agreement, uh, they have a provision called an investment agreement, which is supposed to protect investor rights. How many of you believe that you don't have a rule of law in Europe, that you need to have additional protection for foreign investors in Europe that you don't give to your citizens? Obviously, the answer is if there's something wrong with your system of property rights, you should change it for your, your own citizens, not change it for American investors. But that's what they're insisting. But what is it about? It's not about, it's not about investor protection in that way that I just described. It's making sure that they can do things to undermine environmental rights, health, all these other issues. Let me give you an example of one of the things that's really going on right now. This is not a joke. Uh, <laughs> Philip Morris is suing Uruguay because Uruguay wants to protect its citizens against poisonous cigarettes. Mild regulations, limiting advertising, limiting sales to children, but Philip Morris says that's a restraint on trade. We have the right to sell products that kill people. WHO has praised Uruguay. And under the investment agreement that you will sign, or that the that, that US wants you to sign, you would give your, away the right to protect your citizens.